guys, I am Victoria McLean and welcome to my channel. Uh, today I wanted to just do a speedy video, basically me watching <laughs> Hoovering my pin badges. Um, do you realise, right, I've, how long have I had these shelves for now? It's been about uh, two years and I think this is the first time I have actually properly cleaned my shelves. So this video is of me, this is a great way, if you do things on a regular basis with your collection, you don't want to hoover it, and you don't want to move anything, this is what I'm doing, is I get my hoover, I get the tool part of my hoover, and I use a quite a thick paintbrush, but not a sharp one, so the bristles are quite nice and I flick the dust off the parts of the shelf I don't really want to move, you can see I'm doing the Yule Ball shelf here and the hoover sucks up all the dust it's a brilliant way of doing it but as you see later on in the video I kind of think, oh my god, the dust underneath these pins is disgusting so I end up taking all the pins off but having a collection like this and the way I've obviously done my shelves um, as you can imagine, it does get incredibly dusty. Now, the whole reason why I started doing the this whole clearing is I was uh, sent two beautiful new pins by my friend Sandy Langdon in America. I've been after the, um, the Harry Potter pin seeking location pins for a while because obviously you can only get three of them in the UK uh, if you're lucky to be able to go to London and then you can get three of them in the US but they're all over the place so it's really kind of hard and I'm showing you my favourite pin there and um, it's really kind of hard to get hold of them so Sandy Blesser has actually been helping me find these pins so she's sent me one of the beautiful pins that I was missing and I looked at my pin shelf and I thought you know what I really need to clean this so I ended up cleaning it all and I put a video of the the end result on my TikTok and I tagged a few people in it, like the Warner Brothers Studios, because obviously the pin that I wanted was from Warner Brothers, blah, blah, blah. Um, I, I tagged J.K. Rowling, and I can't remember what else I did tag. Uh, but Warner Brothers actually asked me, they said, this is a really impressive collection, how many pins do you have? I had no idea. So I thought, do you know what, I'm going to freaking count them. So while, as you can see, I'm taking them all off here, and I'm giving them a good clean, with the dress I was wearing... Um, the dress I'm wearing in this is just a, a normal black maxi that I wore when it's when I wear when it's really hot but it does get a lot of like dirty it gets cleaned like almost every day because it gets so filthy and I use it as like a duster because the fabric is a brilliant duster on this dress so what you can't see in this video is I'm actually putting all the pins in front of me, not in any sort of order, but putting them all in front of me and I'm going through which pins I don't want to either display anymore. I love that pin. I don't even know where that pin is from, but I love that pin, the hourglass pin. It is beautiful. Um, it's not official, unfortunately. I don't know where half of these pins are from anymore. But I absolutely love Harry Potter pins and I have I think I counted 212 pins in total of the ones that I wanted to keep but I can't display all of them even though they're only small I can't display all of them so I've got a fair amount on this shelf so I'm taking them all off and cleaning them all individually and I get a closer look at them as well the ones I don't want anymore I kept off the shelf the ones I want to display are all on there majority of the pins I decided to, to keep on there were mostly official like 95% official and then there's a few other unofficial ones like the pins I created a few years back ones from Geek Gear and so on that one that pin I've just showed there oh my god I can't tell you who it's from because I can't remember but it's of the Harry Potter family um, what's it called? The, the family photo album that Hagrid gives Harry in Philosopher's Stone. I'm getting through them alright. I'm getting through the shelf okay. It's, there's a few um, left on there. A lot of those are from packs of pins. Um, I do put them back on the shelf but a lot of them I've kept off just because they're quite plain. You know, I'm, I'm a pin collector and I love the interactive pins that you can buy. The ones that I love the most, I think, are the ones they've done with the pin seeking set that were released by the Warner Brothers Studios. A couple of the Loot Crate ones originally, again, they're all official. And here you can see I'm hoovering the entire fabric. Now this shelf 
was a display shelf from Ikea from the Billy Bookcase series. They don't actually, look at me grin, they don't actually uh, sell these shelves anymore, I'm afraid to say. But these shelves are covered in holes. And so what I did is the blue fabric I've had for years, because you know me, I'm obsessed with blue. I can't remember what I was going to do with it, but I was going to make something. I think I was going to make um, a, cl a, cl a cloak for my wedding, but I ended up buying a, a white one instead. Um, so I, I sewed it all on properly with a needle and thread because there's holes, it's like a, a like almost like vent holes in the shelf. And I sold the fab sewed the fabric on and it, it really worked so well, absolutely brilliantly. Um, and then of course because these shelves are full of holes, like vent holes, um, they were brilliant then for putting the pins through. So I took the ones off because I think I had three one shelves in the beginning. I completely cleared one of the shelves in the middle and I decided to see if I could use it for my pin badges and it worked. At the back you can you can see that I'm placing quite plain ones at the back. I've got a couple from GUI Studios and so on. I've got a couple of the Weasley Wizard Wees pins that you can get in a box set of Weasley Wizard Wees pins. Um, I can't remember who they were from. I think they were from... Who were they from? Was it Para... para um, oh my god, Paladone International? Was it something like that that did those box pins? And... Uh, it was really difficult for me to actually figure out where the pins were going to go because I knew I wanted certain pins displayed and I got a lovely amount of um, Umbridge pins. I had another pin sent to me from Sandy of Umbridge, which I absolutely love of her for, as a cat, which is brilliant. And so I wanted to uh, have a section just for my Umbridge pins. I wanted a section for my Harry Potter pin seeking pins, the location pins. Um, your ball pins, Borgen and Burke's pins, Death Eater pins. So I've I've really kind of gone to town with like Weasley Wizard Wheezes, Honey Dukes, and I've done all of those pins as uh, as a whole section. And with my autism, it, it gets with autism, it gets quite difficult for me to be able to um, sort things out in my head. So I find it very very difficult, especially when it comes to space. I'm not good with space um, with my collection. And so I actually found this quite hard to do. Trying to put them into sections, trying to put enough pins in certain places, remembering that they were all together because they're obviously a certain kind of section of Harry Potter, like Death Eaters, Borgen and Burks, Umbridge, um, Weasley Wizard Wheezes, and so on. So I really did actually struggle for this. So there's a few pins that I've been sent um, from companies, which is brilliant. Uh, so I'm trying to kind of put them on the shelves as well. There's obviously some from old, from Geek Gear ones when I used to promote for them. There's items there from Loot Crate, Pin Seeking, um, but majority of them I'd say are all official or 95% of them are official. In fact, the ones I can see there are official apart from one, uh, maybe three, but, I've got rid of a lot of unofficial pins because I don't want to keep everything. Unfortunately, I don't have the room for it. So I have, obviously, as you know, I've put a lot of stuff on my eBay shop. The link is in the description below. And there's still a lot of pins there. Sorry about postage being so high, but they are being sent recorded delivery. So you obviously can track them. Um, let me know if you want the tracking number and so on, and I will dot it down as soon as I post it. Um, I'm posting so much stuff at the moment that it's hard to keep track of it, but everything is tracked, so don't worry about that. Um, but these pin-seeking pins I'm putting on now, as you can see, you've got the Sorting Hat one there, you've got the, uh, I think that's the Hogwarts Ghost, you've got the Hagrid one recently, you've got the Pietotum Locomotor, you've got the um, Philosopher's Stone one. Those ones are, like, ridiculously valuable at the moment, especially I put the Christmas one up, I think, in a bit. And that one goes for like 150 quid. I mean, my God, that I didn't realise pins were so valuable. Um, but, you know, if you can get them early, if you can, if you know that they're being sold, like the studios now, uh, Warner Brothers are going to be selling a acceptance letter one, I think next week, no, this week, sorry. Gold members get it first. Um, they have, by the looks of it, been putting up more stock, which is great because unfortunately before, when you did the gold, it was great for people who had gold because we straight away had access to the pin. By the time the general public had access to the pin, unfortunately, there was none left. So it does look like they have put up more stock. So I'm really chuffed at that. 
When it comes to pins though, get them while they're released because you don't quite understand how valuable they can become and how quickly they will rise in value if they are no longer available. Keep all your packaging. I tell you all the time, keep all your packaging. Somebody asked me recently, did I still have the packaging for an item I'm selling on eBay? It was from a Geek Gear box a long time ago, but a lot of the Geek Gear stuff I did actually get rid of the packaging wise, not the item because it was geek gear, you know, it didn't normally fetch much value. L uh, Lit Joy ones, when I used to do obviously their promotion, Lit Joy items did gain in value quite a lot, and they still do. It's one of the boxes out there that actually do gain in value. With uh, Geek Gear though, not so much. However, as you can see, there is a Death, e there's a Death Eater mask, one right in front of me in the middle of the shelf. That one I think was from Geek Gear or the Wizard in Trunk. I'm pretty sure that one goes for quite a bit of money. So have a look at your pins, see what you've got. If you don't want it, sell it, get rid of it, put it on eBay. Don't give them away, get rid of them and put them on eBay. If you're going to do an auction, try and start them off early because um, try and start them off quite low because it means that a lot of people are getting a chance then to buy these pins, which is brilliant. Um, I am selling mine at Buy It Now just because I'm going away in less than three weeks, so I need to get it sorted as soon as possible. There are a couple of things I'm selling on eBay that are auctioned, um, like the Curse Opal Necklace Scarf because there is no, there is, there's no other scarf like it in the world. It is the only one of its type. Talking about something funny now, right? Um, Adam's just reminded me because you just sent me a text message, okay? Um, I actually uh, did a Mandela effect this afternoon, right? If you look at my TikTok, again, the link to my TikTok is down below, right? I, if you about four years ago, I think it was, three, four years ago, I had a message from the company who created the Gringotts crystals, as in the Gringotts bank, the chandeliers. They said they wanted to send me some as a gift, and they sent me 10 crystals, five different sizes, but two of each size. So there's 10 in total, but five different sizes. I gave two to Janice um, and two to Maria and I kept a full set of five with one extra which I think was the biggest one. <laughs> I checked today because I'm doing a really big uh, thing on Sunday with an auction, with a charity auction. I was going to give one of the crystals to the auction house to raise money for charity and when I checked in the bag there's eight crystals when there should be six. I am completely flummoxed. I'm sure I was given 10 crystals of five different sizes, two of each size. That left me with 10 crystals, right? I gave two to Janice, two to Maria. That would have left me with six, okay? I count today and there's eight and there are two crystals of the same size that were not there before. Seriously, right? I am completely and utterly just losing my mind over it because I've never had a Mandela effect happen to me and I swear to God this happened to me. It is so bizarre and I, I swear to God I've never ever ever seen these two crystals of this size. So it is so bizarre but I put it up and it is great though. I mean it's brilliant because I not only get to give one to the auction house to do as a giveaway to raise money for charity um, on the weekend but I also have a crystal to sell on eBay as well for these items that no one has ever been able to touch before so I'm incredibly grateful to the company for sending me these but I get to share them with you guys now which is brilliant so watch that space for that sale but it also means that I still have six crystals in a complete sequence of small to large believe it or not the crystals aren't actually crystal they're plastic um, I suppose that made them a lot lighter uh, to hang on the ceiling, especially in film terms. So I find, I find that fascinating. They're very sparkly, but they are plastic, not crystal, not glass. They're plastic. So, and they come with the proper paperwork and everything to show where they're from. I've got all the pictures on my email of the company putting the chandeliers together that they sent me as a gift. So it is amazing to have. <coughs> what am I giggling to myself for here? I think Daniel was talking to me at some point, but uh, oh, look at all those crystals, that's beautiful. I love my um, hourglass pin badges. That big 3D one's from Universal Studios, and I think you can still get it in the Warner Brothers Studios as well. You can get it online, actually, the uh, the 3D hourglass, along with a necklace and a key ring to match, which, of course, I, I had to have because I can't not have them. 
but um, it's looking so much better already it's looking a bit cramped but it did take me forever to get it finished but I thoroughly enjoyed doing this every time I pushed on the back of it to put a pin in um, crystals from the Yule ball shelf fell behind and then fell down underneath the shelf so I think you see me lift it at certain parts and I'm actually looking for the crystals because I need to put them back on the shelf but yeah I love my shelves they bring me so much joy Oh, I'm talking to Dan or, Har or Dan or, or Adam here. He was asking me what I was doing because he wanted to watch a programme with me and I was too busy playing with my Harry Potter stuff. Oh, it's Dan. He's looking at my, my, my lovely collection. It was so much fun. I sat on the floor. I think this was on Sunday. I sat on the floor to sort out my pins. <laughs> I couldn't get asked to get up. <laughs> so I asked Adam. I said, please, can you get me the over and plug it in because I can't be asked to get off the floor. <laughs> It's hard, you know, I'm 42 and it's hard to get back up again. Um, but I managed, I managed to sort it. There's my umbrage section going on, so I'm chuffed with that. That one is a lantern, the bottom one next to the plates. Oh my God, I love that pin. I think I bought it on eBay. It's beautiful. Um, an absolutely stunning pin badge. But uh, trying to find spaces for everything I found really difficult. So some of the pins that I wanted to display, I didn't, I wouldn't, I wasn't able to. So these are all like the Borgen and Burke's um, bridge. You can see the coast opal necklace there, and the pin I created there underneath the uh, the cat badge. Um, and you see that cat, the pink one next to the one I created. That's the one Sandy sent me. So bless, I was so grateful. And I think that was it. Apart from like, oh, hang on, no, I'm pulling all of them on. What am I doing there? Am I adding something cool? Let's hope I am. What am I doing? I'm fascinated by something. Um, all the backs of the pins, obviously, because I don't put the backs and the pins on um, once they're on the shelf, that's it. The, but the, all the backs of the pins go in a little bag and then the bag goes in a box that's underneath the shelf. Um, it's my uh, my Yule Ball, my Goblet of Fire box that I got sent from the Leaky Attic. So all my pins I don't display go on there. Um, is that, what's those ones? I can't quite see. You can tell I filmed it with my phone because the quality of the screen is terrible. Um, I love those Yule, oh, the Yule Ball Invitation pin from the studios. Oh my God, that pin's one of my favourites. My favourite pin at the moment from all of these is the Philosopher's Stone one from Pin Seeking, Harry Potter Pin Seeking. It was released earlier this year and, uh, it is the most amazing pin ever. It's so beautiful. They need to create more pins like that, I think, because no one ever does pins like that and they need to do more. What am I doing there? The pins are actually a little bit hard to get in to get on sometimes because you've got to really kind of push them through the holes. Is that me finished now? No, I'm still potching. I'm still fiddling. I've still, I can see a gap right at the bottom in front of me that I need to fill and I don't think I have done I think I've still got to find a pin that will suit it look at how beautiful that is look at the collection of all those they're stunning I'm so chuffed with them yeah I think that's me done now I'm just potching with them all but they needed a bloody good clean they really did need a good clean because when I sat there when I first did the shelf I'd sit there with a polishing cloth just polishing them all the time constantly just rubbing the cloth over them gently because they are just so beautiful and they're so they when they glow they really glow you know they are stunning but I really love that shelf it's one of my favorite shelves in fact that's two of my favorite shelves the your ball and the pin shelf they are two of my favorites I love how I'm able to play with the items like fiddle about to see what I like and what I don't like and so on I'm disappointed in the, ha the Harry Potter shop in the Warner Brothers Studios now because even though it's a fantastic shop, I prefer it the way it was. Reason why is they seem to have so many more pin badges for sale in the shop when it was the old shop. Now they're just generic like house pins that you can probably get anywhere. There's never really anything amazingly exciting which is a real shame. So obviously I'm off to New York three weeks today and I really can't wait to see what they have in the shop, to see how amazing these pins are. 
I'm really hoping that uh, that they have some stuff that's going to blow my mind. And uh, and we're about to see the final result. So uh, here it goes. Here is the final result. What do you think? Let me know in the comments below. Look at the colours of that. That is just magical. Absolutely love how my pins turned out, how it all turned out. It looks just incredible. Absolutely stunning. I love it. I cannot complain at all. Keep producing the most amazing pins, Warner Brothers, because you are doing a fantastic job indeed. my content take a look at this video right here or this video right here don't forget to like and subscribe